Hey, Mike. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Good. What's going on? I'm coming in to show off the state of the Northwest. The state which of, is, and what is this? The state, the wine the state, state of, of Washington. North, the, the wine state of the Northwest, yeah. Uh, which is Washington, obviously, the second biggest wine producing state in the That's country. That's correct. But a lot um, of people I, don't know that. I don't think they realize how many varieties we, of wine we make and how many wineries we have. That's yeah. definitely true. So I'd love to try one of my favorite varietals, I think, the, from the state of Washington uh, Chardonnay, fabulous Chardonnays, uh, Merlots. Uh, I know the Syrahs are really coming on in the state. Why is, why is the Syrah thing getting so big? People like the flavor of it. It's big, rich, ripe red wine that's right. relatively easy to drink when it's young. I think they're ready to try new things. You know, Washington's been known for Merlot for a long time, uh -huh. and people have tried a lot of Washington Merlots. So after a while, it's like in your restaurant, you eat one dish a few times, you're ready for something new. Right. I love cooking with Syrah. I mean, it has a real, it's got a real kind of country flavor that mm -hmm. uh, Cabernet doesn't have, for example. Right. Uh, so I think it's a great, yeah, yeah. there's a grapey, grapiness about it that uh, I think it's a great cooking wine. Mm -hmm. Love drinking Cabernet, love drinking Merlot, but I love cooking with Syrah. Mm -hmm. um, you want to try some Merlot? Sure. All right, let's go. let's go do it. What makes the Washington Merlot different from, say, a Northern California or, you know, Napa Valley Merlot? I'd say there's a lot of similarity, similarities between Washington and California, but I find that our grapes tend to have a little more acidity, a little mm -hmm. brighter flavors. Uh, Eastern Washington is uh, quite a bit farther north than California. We get up to, I think, two hours more daylight in the, in the heat of the summer. Uh -huh. uh, even though it gets quite warm over there, we get cool nights, so we get this combination of really ripe fruit, good balancing acidity that gives you a freshness of flavor that I think is unique. Now, what do you get out of this? What do you like out of that? Well, I think a hallmark of this winery is wine Chinook is there's smoothness. The so. winemaker, Case Simon, really aims for wines that are user-friendly, that have a softness. She gives them more bottle age before she releases them. Yeah, at least a year, it seems Which is like big, longer. at least a year longer than the average winery. Right. So the wines have a softer character. Mm. Uh, they're not ponderous, they're not heavy. They're really well balanced and really good food wines, as I think you've found out uh, when you've right. used them at the restaurant. Another fabulous varietal up here is Chardonnay. Right. I, mean, I know we sell a ton of it at the restaurants. Um, Sauvignon Blanc, the Rieslings from the Northwest mm -hmm. were the very, first, the very first ones to get famous out of right. here, really. Was... Saint Michel Riesling, how many years ago? Mm -hmm. uh, huge. So this is Hogue. Again, this is another one. I'm trying to, I tried to pick a couple of wines that mm -hmm. were available all over the country. Right. But the Hogue Chardonnay. Yeah. Hogue is still a, fam is a family run winery. A typical Northwest Chardonnay, good color. Um, any, anything else that se separates it from? Yeah, I think Washington Chardonnays definitely stand apart, maybe even more than the reds from California wines. They're uh, a bit more delicate. They're still rich and have a lot of oak, but they don't tend to have quite as much alcohol. Right, you don't get that hot feeling. And you get that fresher, fruitier uh -huh. flavor, uh, a little lighter on the palate. So I think, I mean, in many ways, they're better food wines. Um, you know, a big high alcohol white tastes good by itself, but matching it up with food, it's a problem. But Hogue really pushes for, they call it fruit forward. Right. So they want you to taste the flavor of the grape. You get good acidity. So you get a nice bit of oak, but it's not the first thing you taste. You, uh -huh. Again, you taste the fruit, which I was, is the key. I was using some Chardonnay in my chowder, my muscle chowder that I was making. And mm -hmm. really, uh, when you go against the cream, it really just made yeah, a nice thing. Yeah, you need that acidity. And uh, yeah, and it added, you know, the oak adds a little bit of woodsy mm -hmm. flavor to it. And, right. Uh, I like it, it's just not overly hot and overly strong. Mm, delicious. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. Always good to see you. Yeah, man.